Marcus, how does your approach to studying the effectiveness of compromise agreements differ from the existing approach? Um, I looked at compromises because I had stumbled over this concept earlier in my research in my first book on argumentation and compromise. And, uh, and I discovered that uh, there was actually not much written on, on compromise. And, uh, and I thought it was intriguing because um, in our world, we obviously live in plural societies and uh, you need some kind of a form of agreement that is in sync with the plurality of the societies. And I think that compromises are. And, um, and nuclear non-proliferation is usually dominated by, by, uh, yeah, by realist research, by, by established approaches on, uh, on the topic, um, draws heavily from, um, from, uh, from national interest concepts and, and, and all of that. And I wanted to have a look, a fresh look at that. And, uh, and I think that the, comp the, the, the compromise perspective uh, helped me quite a bit in, in, in getting at something there that might not have been there yet. You also mentioned that uh, the nuclear non-proliferation regime might need to be slightly reconditioned. In what respects has the non-proliferation regime already succeeded and what are its prospects for the future? In my, in my talk I distinguish between 12 different rhetorical strategies and I don't want to get through all of this now, it would be too much. Um, but one of my findings was that uh, when the other party wants something in order for a compromise to be strengthened, in order for a compromise even to be reinvented, um, then the defending party often resorts to what I call a placation strategy. And uh, that means that uh, I do not offer you entirely what you want, um, but I offer you quite a bit. It's just that the only, the, the, the one, the real bone of contention is still there. Um, so in the non-proliferation regime, that's uh, for instance, uh, when it comes to peaceful use, um, then, uh, then there are all kinds of nice sounding declarations uh, by nuclear weapon states. Um, about uh, meeting uh, goals, about millennium goals, poverty eradication, and, and all of that. Um, but it just sounds nice. So when it comes to the, the down to the, to the to the actual changing things around, um, then it's probably still wanting. But this armament, it's exactly the same thing. This armament, the ultimate bone of contention is a time frame for disarmament steps and, uh, and what is agreed upon now, the 22 steps at the, the 2010 video conference, um, is quite a detailed roadmap towards nuclear disarmament, but it's lacking this one thing. And I think what's, um, what's important is how, how long um, can a regime, such as the nuclear non-proliferation regime, survive if the, the, the strategy is, is, is merely placation. So for how long can placation work? For how long can it simply take wind out of someone's sails as opposed to providing the thing, agreeing with the thing that's actually being sought after by, by a particular party? You mentioned that Obama's participation in the de-escalation period has been largely characterized by placation. How does that differ from Bush's approach? Um, Bush's approach was, in my, in my language, for the most part, one of inattentiveness. That's a, that's a non-verbalized rhetorical strategies, strategy where you get, um, where you get uh, all kinds of accusations and then all kinds of, of criticism, um, but you, uh, you don't reply to it, you just pretend that it's, it's not there. And uh, to some extent there were also deflection strategies, accusing others of doing, of doing things wrong. Um, especially when it comes to verification, um, so so and, and that caused quite quite a few upheavals in the non-proliferation regime. Um, then 2010, Obama very different. Um, um, and Obama in his Prague speech, for instance, very clearly uh, resorts to this placation strategy um, when he says uh, when he clearly says that this armament has to happen, and he positively identifies with the goal. Although he says um, in terms of the time frame, perhaps not in my lifetime. So again, when it comes to the the the, the, the real bone of contention, then that's not settled. Thank you very much. Thank you.